Well, hey, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas season. We're not quite at Christmas yet, but we're getting close. We're, um, what, to, what is today anyways? I think today is the 10th of December, uh, somewhere thereabouts. It's Tuesday. And we've got a few pieces to show you on Workshop Update this morning, so let's get right into it. We're going to start out with this little uh, Arkansas River Crawl. You'll notice the crackle on the face, which is super cool, and those orange eyes to match the belly of this pattern. And this is on that Scheltz lipless, which is really good, very good swimmer, well weighted, just over half an ounce. You can get them in standard and you can also get them in uh, the foiled, the pre-foiled. This is a standard. And it's part of a, I've, it's a 23 piece order total. This is not all of that uh, by any means. I've got more that's drying right now that we can't pull off the clear coat rack just yet. Uh, I got it in two pieces. So Brandon, it's coming. We're almost, we're coming down the home stretch on it. I'll show you a bunch more of it later on this week. This is a red-eared sunfish from the same order. Now, if you guys have caught these little red-eared sunfish, you know that they are known for having just slightly longer ear flaps and just a little bit of that splash of red on their ear flap as well. That's all hand detailed and laid in. And a much lighter color. They're almost, sometimes, especially during the summer, you can almost see them as lemon color. So that's the look we were going for on this, and it is on the website. Most of the stuff that you're going to see uh, is now on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. So if you're looking for those last minute Christmas presents, um, if it's something that I have in stock, I can certainly get it out in a pretty decent turnaround time for you guys. If it's custom orders, we are well past the cutoff for what I can accomplish uh, in a reasonable period of time for Christmas. But everything that is in on, on the desk and on the spray bench now, uh, we're looking at roughly 19 orders currently. So those should be all gone by the 20th of December. So keep that in mind if you're ordering. We may or may not make Christmas cutoff. So I did stuff in real time yesterday. I, I did a, a shot of spray session, the twofer, which was the, uh, the holiday edition for you guys. And then edited, spent a, spent a couple hours editing and got it uploaded for you guys. So you'll have something cool to do over the holidays and try some different patterns. This is how the results of the first one came out with the clear coat that's hardened. This is that peppermint pattern. Fun eyes on that. And I also showed you guys where to get those eyes. And if you go back and rewatch that video, I even have, I think I showed you the uh, item number and the size and the color reference and all that stuff. So go back, check that out. If you haven't watched the spray session yet, this is how the peppermint pattern. And I said you could wrap it like a candy cane. There's a lot of different ways that you can do a red and white, but it's an excellent Christmas color. And it's a fish catcher because fish, especially bass, love red, late winter, early spring. And then we did a Santa Claus and I did it a little bit more um, random spray. The first Santa Claus that I did, the patterns were green on top and red on the bottom exclusively kind of changed that up for the video a little bit just to do something a little bit different and you can see how that veining turned out just a real productive fun not just for Christmas I would fish this pretty much year-round crawl patterns and then you can see how those eyes turned out and uh, again the same tip on that is use if you want to center a custom pattern on an eye this was a base white that I sprayed the eye. It's just a regular old six millimeter eye. I sprayed it white, opaque, heat set that, and then put a little red Sharpie dot in the middle of the eye to center the pattern that I was going to stencil over it, which is the Christmas tree. So turned out really well. And then I also showed you how to, like if you have... If you guys are doing a mesh pattern and you have your alligator clips or whatever it is you're fastening at the bottom of the bait and you have a lot of blank space, I showed you how to cover that up with a lighter color and the same mesh that you shot with. So we, we actually killed off a bunch of stuff yesterday. We got a lot of helpful tips out to you guys. So I hope you appreciate that. And if you haven't seen it, go back, take a look at it. This next one, these, this is a three-piece right here, and uh, the customer asked for very simple request, hot dog with an exclamation point on the spine of the bait. Uh, actually, it wasn't, uh, I wasn't told exactly where to put it, but this seems to work out well. These are on those Rapala DT6 reps. 
and one in maroon, and then two in that West Virginia Mountaineer blue and yellow. With a hot dog, and I did a reverse crawl on this with a white stencil, white stencil spray instead of black, because I thought that that would show up pretty cool. And it did. So there you have it. And uh, Merry Christmas, Lauren. I hope you guys like those. You guys have commented a lot this morning on this particular pattern. Um, fun to do. It's uh, three sets of layers and six colors, totally. Um, started out with a Maui blue and transparent sky blue mixed together and then added red. And you can really see the depth in this red. But that's because they're opposite colors on the color wheel. Red is opposed to blue completely. They're complete opposites. That's why they work so well together and it portrays such an awesome le level of depth on this bait. Love doing that. And then it's uh, yellow. I've got black stenciling for the lines. And if you look at the red discus fish, you'll see that this definitely does have the black lines on it. And we've got this candy 2.0 candy apple red and some bright yellow and the blue and the black and then just a little bit of brown on top just to darken that give it more of a profile when it's swimming in the water love the way that turned out these will be the last three that we addressed this morning so whenever you guys are watching this, morning, noon, or night, I appreciate you guys stopping by. These are the uh, on the 62 line. And this is the uh, Red Hot Crawl. And these are all customer orders. These are going out today as well. Two of the same. Love that black base. I've really been doing a lot of colors with that. You guys seem to like it too. You order a lot of stuff off the website that's got a black base on it. And then this is that Mid-South Crawl. And I upgraded you on this one um, to that Excite Bait. It's the XB5 out of Texas. And it's, oh man, it's got that great rattle. This is a fantastic bait. very very cool and that's it it's got that blue orange green and a very dark red thanks for stopping by the channel today i hope you guys have had a lot of fun i hope you guys have a fantastic holiday season still videos are going to keep coming i'm going to try and get another spray session in before christmas for you guys just for something else fun to do and then we are going to start giveaway season i'm going to have three giveaways this christmas season so stay tuned for them. More announcements forthcoming. Probably get a small giveaway up by this weekend. So have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Happy casting.